What's up everyone? We're back with part two of the PSI and the PSR series. Let's get right to it. As we mentioned in the previous video, this video will concentrate on two main topics. Your lawyer and how you can screw up and not be ready for the meeting that you will be attending whether you want to or not. Specifically, we'll be reviewing about seven different ways that most people tend to mess up their meeting. Your lawyer will have helped people who had a lawyer present during the interview with U.S. probation and without one. We've helped people who had a lawyer present during the interview with U.S. probation and people who didn't. Your specific financial resources may influence whether or not your defense attorney is present during the pre-sentence investigation report interview. At every level of the criminal justice process, seek professional and legal guidance. Simultaneously, we want our clients to have as much knowledge as possible about the whole procedure that follows conviction. We've dealt with far too many defendants who tell us about how unprepared they were for the pre-sentence investigation. As a result, their punishments are far harsher than they may have been otherwise. There are several reasons why someone may be unprepared for the pre-sentence investigation report interview. The following are some of the most prevalent reasons. The defendant remained in denial because of their fears about the criminal justice system. Intense and contradictory emotions might cloud that individual's capacity to reason logically. This is natural due to the inherent amount of sheer stress that a federal indictment entails. In many circumstances, stress may render a person immobile. Defendants who indulge in dreams and self-deception about being acquitted during their trial don't consider the ramifications of a conviction until it's too late. Another one is because the pre-sentence investigation occurs soon following the conviction, the defendant didn't have time to educate himself about the process and its ramifications. The defense counsel, who may have been an excellent litigator or trial strategist, underestimated the impact of the PSI document on the imprisonment process. Having talked to many people who are at a camp or at pen points, or in other words, are classified as high security, and have not properly taken the time to prepare for the PSI documentation process, I can state unequivocally that it leads people to having the following outcomes not being eligible for programs that they may have resulted in their early release, spending more time in higher security prisons than was necessary originally, serving sentences that were tougher than they should have been to begin with, and having limited access to the telephone, email, and visitation, which makes prison life far more difficult. The fifth one would be being misclassified resulted in unnecessary hassles and complications while serving their time. Unfortunately, a criminal conviction entails a lot more than just the imposition of a sentence. You may just shrug and take your lawyer's advice, not knowing any better. Any facts that are not disputed in the PSI process will work against you in the future. The result is much harsher classification by the BOP than you would typically get. As a result of this categorization, you could end up spending time in a much higher security level than the one you should be in. You could end up serving time at a medium when you actually qualified for a security level much lower. Nine times out of 10, it's gonna be bad. The part that makes it even worse is that you could have prevented it. Attempting to negotiate, explain, or remediate your situation after you've been sentenced and are in BOP custody to a BOP employee is just about impossible. They're not going to believe you. Even if they follow policies that make no sense to anyone else, at the end of the day, they're bureaucrats that follow them. Their pension depends on it. Their pension depends on the implementation of those policies. Do you really think they're going to risk their pension for you? Nobody in the razor wire bureaucracy will care or believe you no matter who you are, how much money you have, or who you know. You will serve more time than necessary in a harsher circumstances than what was required, all because you failed to take steps to assure the PSI's correctness. As you can tell, I stress this point, mainly because it's vital. 
Now let's talk about how to have an impact on the findings of the pre-sentence investigation report. Every decision you make in the future will have long-term consequences. Consider how you can affect the results of the PSI. You can't undo the past, but you can make the correct decisions to improve your current situation by thinking about the impacts your decisions today will have on your future. At the time of your sentencing and the BOP's evaluation of you based on your actions in those time frames. Learn more about the federal court process and the steps taken before conviction and sentencing. If you lack the basic knowledge, there will be ramifications when going for your PSI. As a result, when the judge reads your PSR, you will have things in there that could have been not there. Alternatively, you may also have missing facts that you didn't know about having not taken the process seriously. The PSR can have devastating consequences. I'm sorry for sounding like a broken record here, but this is a point that is serious. And my repetition is only an attempt at emphasizing the importance of the process and the specific steps of retorting specific findings in the PSI upon completion. Failing to take control of your pre-conviction strategy will lead to massive issues in the end. Strategic preparation, which should include counsel's guidance, is required to influence better results throughout the post-conviction process. If a person intends to appeal their conviction, their attorney may prevent them from speaking about the crime during the pre-sentence inquiry. After all, the probation officer repairing the port is a court representative, and the PSI report that follows is a legal document. As a result, qualified counsel must advise the clients on what they should say and refrain from talking about in the interview. Defendants have a chance to influence the findings of the pre-sentence investigation report. At the very least, they should ensure that the report is accurate so they don't suffer the same consequences as many of the currently incarcerated people have suffered. And I'm not excluding myself from that category. And I tell you now, as someone who has been where you are, if you are currently facing this situation, taking proactive measures that may positively impact the pre-sentence investigation and post-conviction process is equally important. In the next video, we'll be discussing preemptive steps that you should be taking now to create a positive impact in the future. In any case, thanks for watching. Stay tuned for the next video. Keep learning, growing, and staying safe.